This is a crafting table. Actually, this is a heat pump water heater, and this is what's left of our gas service. Today, we're an all electric house. Let's check it out. I'm Aaron Stash. Welcome to the Electric Home Show. Time lapse is amazing. First, we had to remove our on demand gas water heater, and then we positioned our new electric inverter driven heat pump water heater in various places to understand how we could best remove the anode rod with the ductwork above it. We dry fit all of our pipes and we pro pressed those fittings. We included our thermal expansion tank, our thermostatic mixing valve, and our recirculating pump before finally starting to wire in the system to power. And then, voila, it was done and ready to go. Now let's recap and see how we did. So here we've got the LG 80 gallon heat pump water heater. Right now it's in heat pump only mode and we'll just kind of walk through what's going on. So we've got our intake from the cold water that's coming in from our mains and that goes into this system and then it comes out hot, right? But some interesting things that we have here. We have a thermostatic mixing valve. Now this is recommended by Energy Star, the Department of Energy, US government, to add to your heat pump water heater. What this does is it mixes the hot water with additional cold water so that we can turn this system up to 140 degrees. Now we don't want 140 degree Fahrenheit water coming out of our pipes, so we mix it down to 120 degree water and we can adjust that however we see fit and then when the hot water goes through this we can see and measure what the temperature is so this hot water line goes out to our house just like it would we also have a expansion tank here and if we come around the corner we can see the recirculating pump so we have a taco recirculating pump and what that is doing is it's it's connected to our existing recirculating line. So this is bringing the extra hot water into our house through the recirculating line. Coming again, we're gonna go back around the corner through here into the cold water. Now what you might typically see this is going straight into the bottom of the cold water, but we don't want that to happen because we don't wanna have all this turbulence inside of the hot water heater. So we have the recirculating line going midway between the cold water and the hot water, connecting into our thermostatic mixing valve. So we're gonna get slightly warmer water here, and we have a check valve down here so that this recirculating warmer water can't go back and mix up the whole loop process. So that's some pretty interesting different things with the thermostatic mixing valve and how we put the recirculating pump in here. Now we've got our TNP relief valve for safety. We've got other components. And then here, let's come around to this side. So something a little different that most water heaters don't have. This is our condensate drain. So again, this is a heat pump. It's generating and it produces condensation. So we have a condensate drain coming in here and goes out to the side. Now, this is in heat pump only mode and we just turned it on. So it's gonna take in this mode about eight to 10 hours to completely heat up. Now, the water heater itself has turbo mode, it has auto mode, vacation mode, all these things we could do with it, but right now we're testing it in heat pump only mode because frankly it's nighttime and we're not planning on using 80 gallons of hot water anytime soon. So let's see how it does. It's an all electric house. Thanks for watching The Electric Home Show. Break up with your gas company. I'm Aaron Stash. Thanks for watching The Electric Home Show. Like and subscribe for more. Chicken Jockey!